The U.S. cherry industry covers more than 91,000 acres and ships millions of pounds of fruit across the world every year. But producing cherries is no simple task. From soil preparation to high-tech harvesting, and from deer invasions to factory processing, every step is a story of grit and innovation. This is the journey of America's cherries. Did you know that the United States harvests between 661, 882 million pounds of cherries every year, making it one of the world's largest producers of this beloved fruit? In 2023 alone, cherry orchards in America covered more than 91,000 acres, with the majority concentrated in Washington, Michigan, Oregon, and California. From these fertile lands, American cherries travel across the globe, celebrated for their glossy red color, juicy bite, and perfectly balanced sweet and tart flavor. But producing these millions of pounds of cherries is far from easy. Behind the scenes, farmers must battle unpredictable weather, maintain delicate soil conditions, and invest in advanced farming technologies just to keep their orchards healthy. And as if those challenges weren't enough, they also face a surprising and relentless enemy, wild deer, capable of destroying young trees and entire crops overnight. In this video, we'll take you on a behind the scenes journey through the cherry industry of the United States. From soil preparation and tree planting, to the ongoing fight against deer, to high-tech harvesting and modern processing plants, every step reveals the remarkable effort that brings these bright red jewels from orchards to your table. So next time you enjoy the burst of flavor from a fresh cherry, you might just wonder, what extraordinary journey did this little fruit go through before reaching you? Let's find out. The foundation of every successful cherry orchard begins with the soil. Cherries demand loose, well-drained ground, since standing water can quickly suffocate roots. Farmers carefully test the soil, adjusting the pH to stay within the ideal 6.0 to 7.0 range. If the ground is too acidic, lime is applied to restore balance. To boost fertility, they add organic compost or decomposed manure, ensuring rich nutrients are available before planting. But here's where American cherry growers take a modern approach. Instead of planting small seedlings and waiting years for them to mature, many farms use large grafted trees. These grafts combine a hardy rootstock resistant to disease and adaptable to local soil with a scion from a high quality cherry variety. The result is a tree that grows stronger, faster, and produces fruit earlier than traditional planting methods. The process is meticulous. Grafted trees, often already several feet tall, are transported to the orchard and set into holes about two feet wide and deep. Spacing is critical. Farmers leave 13 to 20 feet between each tree to guarantee enough sunlight and airflow for healthy canopies. Once planted, the graft union, the point where the scion meets the rootstock, is kept above soil level to prevent disease. Immediately after planting, the young grafted trees are watered heavily to settle the soil and help roots establish. During their first year, consistent irrigation is essential, but farmers carefully avoid waterlogging. As the trees adapt, watering is reduced and timed mainly for hot, dry periods. Fertilization supports rapid growth. Nitrogen-rich blends encourage strong branches and sturdy trunks, creating the framework needed to carry heavy cherry clusters. At the same time, pruning begins early. Farmers remove weak shoots and shape the trees to develop balanced open canopies, which improve airflow and sunlight penetration, both key for high-quality fruit. By starting with grafted trees, American cherry growers cut years off the growing cycle and reduce the risks tied to weaker seedlings. It's an investment that requires more effort up front, but one that ensures orchards reach full production faster, delivering cherries to market sooner. Just when cherry trees begin to flourish, a silent threat lurks at the edge of the orchard, wild deer. To the casual observer, deer may look graceful and harmless, but to cherry growers, they are one of the most destructive pests. The damage can be devastating, when deer chew off bark from a young cherry tree, it interrupts the flow of water and nutrients, often killing the tree entirely. 
Leaves and buds eaten in spring mean fewer flowers, and fewer flowers mean fewer cherries. A single deer can eat several pounds of foliage in one evening, and when entire herds invade, farmers can lose up to 30% of their crop in a single season. In areas with dense deer populations, some orchards report losses worth tens of thousands of dollars each year. So how do farmers fight back? The first line of defense is fencing. Standard farm fences won't stop a deer, they can leap over six feet with ease. That's why cherry growers invest in specialized fencing systems, at least eight feet tall, often reinforced with mesh or electrified wires. While expensive, these fences can protect entire orchards from nightly raids. Some farmers turn to dogs, particularly livestock guardian breeds, trained to patrol orchards and chase off intruders. Their presence alone is often enough to discourage deer from entering. In more technologically advanced farms, motion-activated systems are installed combining flashing lights, sprinklers, or even ultrasonic sound emitters that activate whenever deer approach. Others apply more traditional methods, such as reflective tape or noise-making devices that startle deer before they get too close. And in regions where deer populations grow too large, some states allow regulated hunting programs. These programs are carefully supervised by wildlife agencies, giving farmers the legal right to thin herds responsibly while maintaining ecological balance. In addition, certain orchards set up humane trapping systems, designed not to injure but to capture deer temporarily, so wildlife officers can relocate them to safer areas. Although labor-intensive, Trapping offers farmers another way to protect young cherry trees without resorting to heavy-duty measure. Ultimately, the fight against deer is a constant battle. Farmers must balance cost, effectiveness, and sustainability while ensuring their orchards remain productive. It's a reminder that agriculture is never just about planting and harvesting, it's also about defending crops from forces of nature, sometimes in the most unexpected forms. Thanks to these combined strategies, American cherry farmers manage to protect their orchards and secure the harvest. Without such vigilance, millions of pounds of cherries would never make it to the hands of consumers. After months of care, the most exciting moment of the season arrives, the harvest. Depending on the variety and weather, cherries take 45 to 90 days to ripen once they begin turning from green to yellow, then pink, and finally their iconic deep red. For farmers, timing is everything. Pick too early and the fruit won't develop its full sweetness. Wait too long and cherries can crack, spoil, or become irresistible targets for birds. On smaller family farms, cherries are still picked by hand. Skilled workers carefully twist each fruit from the stem, making sure the stem remains attached. This little detail helps the cherry stay fresh longer, extending shelf life for transport. Hand picking is slow and labor intensive, but it preserves the delicate fruit in perfect condition. But in America's vast orchards, where thousands of trees stretch for miles, hand picking alone can't keep up. That's where cherry harvesters come in. These massive machines, weighing between 11,000 and 23 pounds, is approximately equal to 5.5 short tons, to 22,046 pounds is approximately equal to 11 short tons. Are equipped with powerful shaking arms that gently vibrate the tree, causing ripe cherries to fall onto large catching frames. From there, conveyor belts carry the fruit into collection bins at speeds reaching 22,046, 44,092 pounds per hour. The technology doesn't stop there. Modern harvesters are often fitted with sensors and cameras that detect ripeness, allowing operators to shake only the trees that are ready. This reduces waste and keeps unripe cherries on the tree for later harvest. The result is a faster, more efficient system that still maintains fruit quality. For many farmers, the harvest is both a relief and a race against time. Cherries are highly perishable and must be processed quickly after picking. Within hours, Bins are loaded onto trucks and rushed to nearby facilities. From the orchard to the factory, the clock is ticking every minute counts to keep the cherries fresh and beautiful for consumers around the world. Once harvested, cherries face a race against time. Unlike apples or pears, which can sit in storage for months, cherries are fragile and highly perishable. 
That's why within just a few hours of leaving the orchard, they arrive at modern processing facilities designed to protect every fruit. The first step is cleaning. Cherries are poured into automated washing systems where jets of clean water sometimes mixed with mild food safe detergents remove dirt, dust, and bacteria. Gentle handling is key since even the smallest bruise can lower the fruit's value. After washing, cherries pass through air drying tunnels that quickly remove surface moisture to prevent mold or decay during transport. Next comes sorting and grading. Using optical sensors and high-speed cameras, cherries are evaluated one by one. Machines check for size, color, gloss, and defects. Perfectly ripe cherries are directed toward the fresh fruit line, while those with blemishes are sent to processing. This meticulous grading ensures that only top-quality cherries make it to export markets. Packaging is equally advanced. In temperature-controlled rooms, cherries are carefully placed into clamshell containers or crates designed to prevent crushing. Special breathable packaging materials help regulate moisture and extend freshness. With this system, cherries harvested in Washington can still arrive plump and delicious at supermarkets in New York, Tokyo, or London. But not every cherry meets the strict standards for fresh sale. Instead of going to waste, these fruits find a second life in processing. They are crushed, pressed, or blended into juices, syrups, jams, and frozen products. Some are even infused into baked goods, desserts, and spirits. In this way, farmers maximize every pound of fruit, turning potential loss into new opportunities. Beyond their beauty and taste, cherries are a nutritional powerhouse. A single cup provides more than 15% of the daily recommended vitamin C, along with vitamin A, potassium, and manganese. Even more impressive are their antioxidants, particularly anthocyanins, which have been linked to reducing inflammation, improving sleep, and supporting heart health. On the table, cherries shine in countless ways. In American kitchens, they appear in classic cherry pies, refreshing summer salads, savory meat glazes, cocktails, and even barbecue sauces. Their sweet tart profile makes them one of the most versatile fruits, capable of elevating both sweet and savory dishes. From orchard to factory to plate, every cherry carries with it the story of hard work, advanced technology, in nature's brilliance, a journey that turns fragile fruit into a symbol of summer around the world. The story of America's cherries is about more than fruit. It is about resilience, innovation, and the determination of farmers who work tirelessly to protect their orchards. From preparing the soil with care, to defending against deer, to harvesting with powerful machines and processing in advanced facilities every step, reflects the effort behind each sweet bite. Each summer, over 330,693 short tons of cherries leave U.S. orchards. Behind every box on the shelf lies months of labor, thousands of decisions, and obstacles overcome. Farmers do not simply grow cherries, they nurture, defend, and transform them into products enjoyed around the world. What makes cherries special is not only their glossy skin or refreshing taste, but also the human spirit that ensures they reach consumers in perfect condition. They represent the balance between tradition and technology, between nature's challenges and human creativity. And beyond the orchards, cherries support local jobs from field crews and mechanics to food safety teams, truck drivers, and plant technicians sustaining rural economies. So the next time you enjoy a fresh cherry, remember the journey it took, the cold winters that strengthened the trees, the fences and guardians that kept deer away, the harvesters shaking trees in the sun, and the precision machines that packed them with care. Cherries remind us that agriculture is both fragile and powerful. Fragile because one storm or one herd of deer can threaten an entire orchard, yet powerful because human ingenuity always finds a way forward. Would you like to experience that journey firsthand to step into a cherry orchard and taste the fruit right from the branch? For many, that single moment is unforgettable.